Watch My Advertising for me is one of the most cost-effective platforms that us as a brand are currently using. It offers us a, a platform to engage with the consumer quite close to point of consumption. It reaches large sectors of our population groups. Because of its cost effectiveness and the fact that it's targeted. I love the fact that you can target your audience with a medium. It's relevant to the consumers and you can't miss it. It's a great uh, tactical channel and uh, can be utilized to, to great effect. Gender segmentation would be? It's a fantastic media to advertise your product. It's a captured audience. You don't go and socialize in a bathroom. You go in there, you do your thing, and if there's like a poster stuck into your face, you will read it. So I find it extremely effective. I think it's a, an effective medium. I think it's something that, uh, I mean, you've got nothing else to do when you're in the environment. So I certainly think it's something that people take notice of. It's just a big reach medium. It's a fantastic alternative uh, media platform uh, to build your brand. The fact that there's less clutter and the fact that it that it is a targeted medium makes it stand out and makes it good for our brand. It's about as close as you're going to get to being able to influence uh, the consumer. It's not going to break the bank and you are going to really achieve what you set out to do. It has a right place uh, in terms of, of a media strategy. Is underestimated. I don't think that a lot of marketers understand the relevance it has to their brands. And I also believe that most marketers is looking for the glamour side of advertising and not necessarily the results. At first when we started off I was very sceptical. I was not convinced at all whether it would be a successful medium. But I've got to be honest, it's, my whole view's changed. Um, we found it to be tremendously successful. It's had a massive reach, a very wide audience um, and we're very happy with it at this stage. First when uh, TLC came to see me was, wow, how does somebody advertise in a washroom? I think it's a very innovative way of um, getting your captive audience and I know that if you go to the washrooms you have kind of get 100% of somebody's attention for at least one minute. So I think it's the best way of advertising. I think uh, most people probably don't know the effectiveness of washroom, so they've probably got to be educated on it. Uh, we initially were very skeptical of it and uh, been proved uh, very wrong. Um, so I think you need to get in front of marketers and explain the, the power of the proposition. With regards to Voltaren, I found it to be very impactful. Um, I had all of our salespeople coming back to me and saying that we really got South Africa covered. And this is a result of people traveling around the airport. So for me, that just shows that your brand is everywhere and it actually gives you an uh, a, a indication that you could be spending more than you're actually spending. Um, and I also had one of my uh, peers my, um, of a competitor company asking me, you know, to please stop advertising. So it was good. We've used it and it's been a success. When we ran a campaign for Rhythm City, where we actually had a, a, a call to action. So we, uh, we encouraged the recipients of the message to participate. And through that, we got SMSs and we got about seven and a half thousand responses. And in my opinion, I think that was a very good campaign. We've received great feedback in terms of how creative it looks, in terms of how our ads stand out. We've created an awareness um, out there and more and more people are talking about uh, preventing pneumococcal disease. No, I don't think that the brands that are advertised in the washroom space are relevant to the washroom whatsoever. I don't think that from a consumer point of view, um, the consumer walks into a washroom and, and says, you know, ooh, there's brand X, Y, or Z, and I think worse of it because they, they're sitting in a washroom. I don't think the consumer thinks like that. It doesn't really make a difference where they see it. They're seeing the message and they are engaging. I think that's the important thing. I don't, I don't believe brands um, who advertise in washrooms associate with a washroom. I don't think so at all. So therefore we chose the door wraps um, at airports. It was cost effective. We were getting the volume of traffic coming through in terms of um, LSMs that we were targeting. It made very good impact with the consumers and we were starting to see an upswing in terms of the sales. Uh, representatives come to tell us that you know they've seen this advertising in the mall and they believe that it's contributing to sales at that pharmacy. Um, I really do believe that you are pulling consumers into my stores. So it's delivering on some of the fundamentals that we require. We structured the deal where based on sales we would pay across a commission and if it does, if it is successful then it will be successful for both parties. Um, it was extremely successful, I was wrong 
and we've been extremely happy with it. Um, it proved that the amazing thing is that a person would walk into the bathroom, they need to take a pee, they look at an advert for 30 seconds, maybe a minute, and instantly get on their phone, go to their computer and spend a couple thousand rand on a product for a brand which is they've maybe seen a couple times before, um, but really coming from a toilet that they, they're happy to spend their kind of money. I mean, our volumes are growing consistently, so I mean, which is why we are utilizing the platform. We do definitely see um, a return on investment, and that's obviously through the sales. We see an increase in our sales. In terms of our private business, absolutely. We, we have maintained and actually increased our private sales. My sales feedback is enormous. Uh, my sales go up between 25 and 35 percent. Um, immediately. So I always see a return on investment that same month. If, uh, if we're able to have category exclusivity, we obviously got that share of mind and share of throat. When budgets are um, slightly tight and uh, we think how best are we going to sort of go out there and reach out our target market um, and how best are we going to spend the money that we have, and I think washrooms um, is definitely an option that we would use. Your cost per point, you get so much more value for your money than advertising in any other platform. I mean, it's the best value for money. Nothing compares to washroom. Consumers in this day and age are so bombarded by, by advertising every single day that, that one of the big challenges that we as, 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 as media people and as, as advertising agencies face is how do we break through the clutter? Um, that consumers are exposed to. I mean, if you do a quick search on, on Google as to how many ads the average consumer sees in, in an average day, it's anything from sort of three to 5,000 pieces of communication that consumers are exposed to. So I think the, the nice thing about washroom advertising, as I alluded to earlier, is the fact that it doesn't compete with anything else. When you're in that space, it's almost a clean environment. It's just kind of you and, and the ad. Um, so you're not seeing it in relation to 10 other ads in an ad break on TV or radio or 25 other ads in a newspaper or a magazine. So from that point of view, it's quite nice. It allows advertisers to really cut through and break through that clutter. So it, yeah, in, in, in the environment in which you're operating, I think it, it certainly provides some very clear benefits over, over some of the other media types.